let's put the hands together for the second page of Dawn. Now we've already learned the first two lines plus a measure in two videos ago when we were learning the right hand uh, because the right hand only did repeated G's and it would have been very boring. So we learned the left hand as well. So go back to that video if you did not already learn the first two lines plus a bit. This is more of the, of the and so on. Now we're gonna start on the third line, second measure. Our left hand begins this measure because the right hand has a quarter rest. So the left hand's doing the that part. So the left hand's doing eighth notes. The right hand has a quarter rest and then two quarter notes. And that's how the whole rest of this line goes. So your left hand will play two notes before your right hand comes in with the left hand on its third note. So left hand's playing A, F, and this is centered right around middle C. And then on middle C with your third finger left hand, your right hand plays two finger E, holds the E while your thumb plays F again. Then right hand is going to play three finger F, and this is a, an octave above middle C. And left hand is going to go to five finger A. Right hand hold the F while the left hand goes back to F on thumb. Then the left hand is going to play five finger G below middle C. Then thumb on E. Then the right hand comes in with its two finger on D sharp, an octave above middle C. While the left hand plays middle C. Hold the D sharp while your left hand plays the thumb on E. Then your right hand is gonna move to three finger E while your left hand plays uh, five finger G. Hold the E in the right hand while your left hand goes back to E. Then left hand scooches down one to F with the pinky and then plays thumb on C, middle C. Then the right hand's gonna come in with two finger on C sharp, one octave above middle C, while the left hand plays three finger A. Hold that C sharp in the right hand while your thumb plays middle, middle C. And then, you know, it sounds dissonant, but it's short when you're playing it in the proper tempo, and it's going to fix the dissonance in the next grouping of notes. Uh, right hand moves three finger to D, Left hand, pinky to F. Hold that D in the right hand while your left hand goes back to thumb on C. Then the left hand moves the five finger up to F sharp. And then thumb on D. Then the right hand comes in. We're moving the hand up to the G sharp. This is two G's above middle C. And then the left hand is playing four finger on A. Hold the G sharp in the right hand while the thumb goes back to D. Then the right hand moves three finger to A and the left hand's playing A with the four finger. Hold the A in the right hand while your left hand thumb plays D again. And just stay put because even though we changed uh, clefs back to treble clef for the left hand, it's just right where you're at. So you don't have to move your hand. Your left hand is going to play G with the pinky, just below middle C. Then thumb on E. And then the right hand is going to come in with its two finger on B. This is two Bs above middle C. The left hand playing three finger on middle C. Hold the B in the right hand while your left hand thumb stretches up to G above middle C. Then your right hand is going to play three finger on C, two C's above middle C. The left hand playing three finger on E. Then hold that C in the right hand while your left hand thumb stretches up to C, an octave above middle C. So let's go ahead and do this whole line and how it sounds together, starting on the second measure of this third line. So the left hand begins. Now let's move on to the 
fourth line. And the fourth line, the first measure, the left hand is continuing to do eighth notes. The right hand has three quarter notes and no rest, so they'll come in together. So the left hand starts with the five finger on G above middle C, and the right hand is going to start with the four finger on D. This is actually three Ds above middle C. So up here, and left hand here. Hold that D in the right hand while your left hand plays thumb on E. And then right hand is going to play three finger on C, two Cs above middle C. Left hand is going to play three finger on, on C, above middle C. Then hold that C in the right hand while your left hand thumb stretches up to the G, two Gs above middle C. And then the right hand will play five finger on E, three E's above middle C. And the left hand will be playing two finger on E, this is two E's above middle C. And then hold that E in the right hand while the left hand goes on to three finger C. Now we're going to have the right hand playing the eighth notes, the left hand playing the quarter notes. And this is a, the repetitious part where it, it does the same thing basically for four measures. So as you're playing this, the left hand is going to have its five finger on G above middle C. The right hand will have its three finger on A flat. This is two A's above middle C. They come in together. Then the right hand plays thumb on F while the left hand holds. Then they come in together, two finger G, left hand, three finger B. Hold the B while your right hand plays thumb on F. And then right hand plays the A flat again with the three finger while your left hand plays D with the thumb. Hold that D while your right hand goes back down to thumb on F. And then we're going to do that again. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a pattern and it starts on the A flat. So I guess we're in the middle of a repetition of the pattern. So here we go. Right hand playing two finger G, left hand five finger G. Right hand thumb goes to F while the left hand holds. Right hand three finger A flat, left hand three finger B. Hold the B while your right hand thumb goes to F. Then two finger G right hand and thumb on D and left hand. Hold the D while your right hand thumb goes to F. So that, that keeps on going for the four measures, right? So here's the first measure of it. And then we're going to do the second measure of it. So you can tell that the measures don't start on the same note for the right hand because to do it does a complete um, repetition, right? Once in the first measure, then it has two more notes starting the pattern over in the same measure. And then we're starting the second measure with the second, the last two notes of the pattern. So anyway, just if you're not sure how that pattern is broken up in the measures, that's how it sounds. But let's do all four measures and, and hear how the hands fit together. Now we slow down a little bit, the last two measures, there's a retard, and at the last note of these four measures, there's a fermata, which means that you hold it uh, longer than you normally would. It's your dramatic effect, right? Now, we're going to move on to the last measure of this line. Our right hand will have the three finger on E. This is an octave above middle C. And it, both hands are playing eighth notes. The left hand has an eighth rest, so the right hand begins alone. And then the left hand's gonna come in with the five finger on the C, two Cs below middle C, and the right hand will be playing five finger on G. The 
that's two G's above middle C. And then they're going to keep on going together. Right hand, three finger E. Left hand, four finger E. The left hand's moving up, the right hand went down. Then right hand, five finger G. Left hand, two finger G. Right hand, three finger E. Left hand, thumb on C. Left hand's continuing to go up while the right hand goes back and forth. Right hand, five finger G. Left hand, cross your three finger up to E. Okay, so this whole line sounds like this. So let's go. And then the repeated part. measure of the line. Now we're going to continue on in the same type of made on the next line, the fifth line of the page. Our right hand is still three finger on the same E, an octave above middle C. The left hand has moved up a bit. Now it's going to have its two finger on the G just below middle C. And they're all eighth notes for both hands, so they're going to match up. Right hand playing five finger on the G, and left hand thumb on middle C. Then right hand four finger F, left hand cross the two finger up to D. Right hand five finger on G, left hand thumb on uh, G. No, sorry. Then right hand, two finger D, left hand, four finger B, right hand, five finger G, left hand, two finger D, right hand, three finger E, left hand, three finger, middle C, right hand, five finger G, left hand, thumb on E, right hand, three finger E, left hand, two finger, middle C, right hand, two finger C, Left hand, scooch the three down to G. Right hand, thumb on G. Left hand, cross the thumb down to E. Right hand, cross the three finger down to E. Left hand, two finger C. Right hand, two finger middle C. Left hand, four finger on G. Right hand, thumb on G below middle C. Left hand, five finger on E. Come back up to the notes we did before. Two finger on right hand, middle C. Left hand, four finger G. Right hand, three finger on E. Left hand, two finger on C below middle C. Right hand, cross your thumb up to G. Left hand, thumb on E. Right hand, two finger on C above middle C, and left hand, uh, what are we doing there? Oh, cross the two finger up to G. Then right hand, three finger on E, left hand, uh, thumb on middle C, right hand, five finger on G, and left hand hops the pink, uh, five finger all the way down to the C two octaves below middle C. Now the right hand's going to go back and forth between E and G. Three finger on E, five finger on G. So three finger E for the right hand, four finger E for the left hand heading up. Right hand five finger G, left hand two finger G. Right hand three finger E, left hand thumb on C. Right hand, five finger G, left hand, cross your three finger up to E. Right hand, three finger E, left hand, two finger G. Right hand, five finger G, left hand, thumb on middle C. Right hand, now we can do a different note, four finger F, and left hand, cross the two finger up to D. Right hand, five finger G, and left hand is going to have thumb on F. Right hand, two finger D, left hand, four finger B. 
Right hand, five finger G, left hand, two finger D. Then, last measure, right hand, three finger E, left hand, three finger middle C. Right hand, five finger G, left hand, thumb on E. Right hand, three finger E, left hand, put your two finger on middle C. Right hand, two finger on C, octave above middle C. Left hand, scoot your three finger down to G. Right hand, thumb on G, left hand, five finger on E. Right hand, two finger C, left hand, three finger G. It's a lot of notes, right? Now well, let's play this whole line, the fifth line of this page and hear how it sounds. Oh, sorry. page. We're going to do another measure where both hands are doing all eighth notes. The right hand is currently set up with the, let's do, we just did two finger on C, so let's do four finger on E. Uh, this is the E an octave above middle C. Left hand is going to have thumb on middle C. Then right hand, two finger C, Left hand, three finger G, both heading down. Right hand, oh no, let's do, we better do a thumb on that C in the right hand. Yep, because then we're heading back up. Then, right hand, two finger E, left hand, thumb on middle C. Right hand, three finger G, left hand, cross the three finger up to E. Right hand, four finger B, Left hand, can have a thumb on G. Right hand, five finger C, two octaves above middle C. And left hand, three finger E, going back down. Right hand crosses the four finger up to C sharp, two octaves above middle C. And this is a um, eighth rest for the left hand, so it doesn't play anything. Uh, right hand comes in alone then you hold that high C sharp with the right hand while you add some more notes with your other fingers in that hand so you're holding that C sharp with the forefinger and you're gonna play G below that with your two finger in the right hand and the left hand comes in on G two octaves below middle C well two G's below middle C then still holding the C sharp with the right hand you have your thumb play F and then left hand forefinger playing B heading back up right hand two finger G left hand two finger D right hand thumb on F um, left hand thumb on G right hand two finger G left hand cross the three finger up to B then we're on a new measure. The right hand will be playing D with the five finger. This is three Ds above middle C. And the left hand is gonna come in at the same time, no rests, and it's gone back to treble clef, so don't be fooled by that. The left hand will be playing F below middle C with the five finger. Hold that high D with the right hand. While you add another note, you're going to play G with your two finger in the right hand and G with your four finger in the left hand. Then right hand plays F with the thumb and then the left hand plays three finger on B, heading up. Right hand goes back and forth again, two finger G, left hand, two finger D, right hand, thumb on F, 
left hand, thumb on F, right hand, two finger G, left hand, cross your two finger up to G. Now here, you technically don't have to play the upper D with your five finger again because it is tied over the measure line for another beat. But I kind of like to play it again just because it's usually kind of vanished in the sound by now. So you can choose whether to just keep holding the pinky finger on the D up there and just play the F with your thumb. <coughs> or you can replay the D along with the F with your thumb like that. And that's what your right hand is doing. Your left hand is playing B above middle C with your thumb. I like that sound. And then right hand, two finger G. Um, so your left hand can let go of that upper D with the five finger. And your right, your left hand is playing G with your two finger going down. Then right hand is going to play C sharp with the pinky finger. Now, we should keep in mind um, the timing on these notes because there's only three beats per measure. But if you notice, we've got one, two, three, four, five quarter notes written in the measure. How do they do that? They're alternating them. So what you're doing, right, we should have talked about this a little bit and when we learned the right hand part, but what you're doing is you're alternating. So first you're playing the F and the D, right? And then the bottom F is only an eighth note. So then the next G that you're playing with your two finger is like the bottom quarter note. And then your right hand five finger plays the C sharp while you're still holding on to the G with your two finger. And then while you're still holding on to the C sharp with your five finger, you replay the G with your two finger. And then your five finger plays D while you're still holding on to the G. And then the left hand or the two finger plays the G again while you're still holding on to the D. So it's, it's easy to, to copy that when you hear it. It's just kind of nice to know what's going on counting wise if you're curious. So we'll start over again on this fourth measure of the last line. We have our F with the thumb and our D with the pinky on the right hand and we have our thumb on B in the left hand. And then right hand's playing two finger G, left hand two finger G. Right hand's gonna play a five finger C sharp while well, the left hand plays three finger F. And then right hand, two finger G again, while your left hand crosses the thumb down to D. Then right hand plays five finger D, while the left hand plays two finger B going down. Right hand plays two finger G, left hand four finger G. Then we're gonna do something similar to the third measure uh, for this last measure, right hand playing five finger on D sharp. And this is good held for the whole measure. And then there's a eighth rest for the left hand. So the right hand comes in alone. And then the right hand will be playing two finger G while the left hand comes in and it's gone back to bass clef. So it's going to go down low. Left hand comes in with the five finger on the C two octaves below middle C. And then right hand, this, meanwhile you're still holding the D sharp with the pinky. And the right hand has thumb on E, left hand four finger E, right hand two finger G, left hand two finger G going up. And then right hand, thumb on E, left hand thumb on C, right hand two finger G, left hand cross the three finger up to E. Okay, let's play this whole last line and hear what it sounds like.
page for both hands.